Not only the Santa Ana winds, which are prompting elevated gusts approaching that 120 kilometer an hour range, but a fire itself creates its own weather system. We get what's called a pyrocumulonimbus, and that happens when we have wildfires creating this hot air and smoke that begins to rise. Now, as that air rises, the temperature of itself begins to cool as it reaches the higher heights of the atmosphere. As that happens, clouds can begin to form. Now, these clouds can sometimes develop develop into thunderstorms. At this point, that's when we call it a pyrocumulonimbus. Now, some of those clouds will precipitate. Remember that the relative humidity of this lower atmosphere is so low because that air is so dry, like eight to potentially 15% relative humidity. A lot of that moisture evaporates before it even hits the ground, but what it can do is prompt things like downbursts, which elevates the wind in itself. Plus, a storm like this can create lightning of its own, and that can spark brand new fires. Lindsay, it's a complicated mm. situation. We're following it closely.